Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we're looking at a beer from Lagunitas. This is the one, the only, Lagunitas Sucks. Coming in at 7.85% alcohol by volume. It's an Imperial IPA, an IPA that was basically created by accident when they weren't able to produce brown sugar. They produced this instead. It was, I think it was three years ago, and it has been a huge hit ever since. I know you guys have probably had this one by now. It's one of my favorite beers last year. Um, it came out again this year. This year, they released it in 32-ounce bottles as well. Um, you guys have been just screaming at me to finally review this beer, so I'm going to do that. So without further ado, let me get the 2013 version of Lagunita Sucks into the glass, let you guys know it smells taste. Give the final verdict on Sucks. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Sucks. Oh, God, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's massive. Tang tangerine, pineapple, a fruity floral sweetness orange peel, grapefruit, pine needle, a slight dankness, a slight sweet breadiness. Just everything you want in your best IPAs all slammed into one. Awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the taste on the Lagunita sucks. Cheers. Yeah, it's fantastic. Right at the front of the tongue, classic IPA, West Coast bitterness. Middle of the mouth though, this beer just becomes its own. Big, sweet, floral, tropical notes, pineapple, pear, orange peel, grapefruit, lemon zest, definitely some pine needle in there. There's this underlying sweet, bready undertone that I really like, and you tend to find that through most of Lagunitas beers. I don't know if that's their yeast strain, but there's this underlying fruitiness that I really like that kind of plays off some of the bitterness, some of the grapefruit. It just gives it some context and gives the kind of more of the, the hops something to play off of. Really dry aftertaste in the aftertaste. You get more of that West Coast style IPA, you know, pine needle, grapefruit. But it's just kind of all over the place as far as an IPA, but it all comes together and works as one cohesive great beer. It's awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Lagunita Sucks 2013, 7.85% available now, guys. I got to give this one an A+. This is one of my favorite beers. This is easily one of my favorite IPAs or Imperial IPAs, whatever you want to call it. It just has elements from every style of IPA that I like, you know. The middle of the country, you've got the sweeter IPAs. It's got that. It's got the West Coast dryness. It's got some of the East Coast spiciness, a little bit of maltiness in there. And again, it all comes together to work. It's really, really, really affordable. I actually bought a case of this for around 36 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. It's just bar dollar for dollar. It's an impossible beer to beat. And if you haven't had it, you're doing yourself an injustice. Go out and get it if you can. Definitely trade for it. It is worth trading. It's awesome, awesome stuff. And I hope they make it again next year. And I hope I can get the 20 32 ounce bottles next year just because I'd like to have one. So with that said, getting an A plus from me and remember folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.